Is Krita a good pixel art program? Hey folks, Nick Corbettson here, and recently I've been testing out some software for making pixel art. Normally I use Photoshop or A-Sprite, but those are both paid programs, and people were asking me, what's a good free option out there? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. I came across Krito when I was trying to find some good free programs for creating pixel art. First I started with GIMP. This video was going to be about GIMP, but GIMP is not a good app for creating real-time art. Krita is free, it's donationware, so you can get it faux free. No money money. But how is it with pixel art? Well that's what we're going to find out today. I created a piece of pixel art using Krita and we'll answer the question, is Krita a good pixel art program? Spoilers, yes. Before I jump into my first impressions and review, I want to share seven quick tips to optimize Krita for pixel art. I'm on version 4.4.2, so some of these settings might be in a different location for you. I'll also have these in text form in the description for your convenience. Number one, remove pixel grid. Toggle off show pixel grid from the view menu. This is optional if you don't like seeing the white grid lines when you're zoomed in. Number two, cursors. Add the arrow cursor by navigating to Krita Preferences General and set cursor shape to arrow. This helps add some precision when you're zoomed in since the default square snaps to the grid. Number three, brushes. Select the pencil brush from the brushes presets on the side panel. This will give you the classic single pixel pencil without any anti-aliasing. You could also try the dither brush or the thick pencil for variation, but I just stick with the pencil brush and paint bucket. Number four, palettes. Select a palette or create your own. Show your palette UI on the sidebar by navigating to Settings, Docker, Palette, and toggle it on. Select the image by the palette's name to choose a preset. They have a couple of pixel art ones included. I made my own, which you can do by first creating a blank palette, then using the eyedropper to select a color, and finally selecting a swatch to assign that color. Number five, Paint Bucket. With the Paint Bucket selected, select the Tools option from the side tab and set the threshold to one. This will ensure that the colors don't bleed past a single pixel edge. Number six, Exporting. To save your art, export it as a PNG with the alpha box toggled on if you have any blank spaces. I didn't for my example. Set it to max file size so there's no compression. Number seven, Upscaling. To enlarge the image that you just exported, right click to open up that PNG in Krita, navigate to Image, Scale Image to New Size, then increase the percentage with a multiple of 100 with the filter set to Nearest Neighbor. This will keep everything pixel perfect when you upscale. Export this PNG with a new name. This is the safest, fastest way I've found to export an upscaled image. If I come across a better method, I'll put it in the description or in the pinned comment. Good luck! You are now armed with pixel knowledge. Now back to you, Nick. So the first thing I did was downloaded Krita, and then the second thing I did was opened up Krita. Are you following along? The layout is very similar to Photoshop, so I felt right at home. Sometimes whenever I create pixel art, I will just do all the art within the program, or sometimes I will just draw out on a sheet of paper what it is I wanna make, and then I'll take a picture of it and bring that into whatever program I'm using. So moving things around and scaling them, getting them all in position, was very similar to the way that you would do it in Photoshop. You can use the lasso tool to grab certain areas of other images and move them around Around, rotating. Also in Krita they sort their layers very similar to how they do in Photoshop, having a hierarchy there. So it made it easy for me to lower the opacity of my background sketch and then just to draw my line work over it. There aren't a lot of tools that you need for pixel art, but in addition to your pencil tool, you need a paint bucket tool to be able to paint in all those different areas when you're adding color. Everything was exactly how I thought it would be. It was all pretty smooth, but there are a few reasons that I still prefer Photoshop and A-Sprite to using Krita. The main selling feature of Krita being that it is free, you can can download it and start using it now. I guess technically it's donationware, so if you like it, you can donate to them. And as someone who has created and contributed to open source software, those donations are few and far between. And so this is the big, mean Viking dude that we created. In case you're unfamiliar with my art, I like creating those really chonky characters that have that foreshortening of something in the front, and they look like they're just really mad about something. They're probably mad because they had to use GIMP to make pixel art. I think this looks similar to something I would have created in Photoshop or a Sprite. There was a little bit of a learning curve getting up to speed on Krita, but once I got rocking, it felt like it was just an extension of my brain. So is Krita the best free pixel art program out there? 
I don't know, because I haven't tried all the programs out there, but it's a pretty darn tootin' good one. So in conclusion, if you're a professional or paying a subscription is not a problem for you, then consider sticking with Photoshop. You'll use it for everything, and it's a little bit easier when you can stick with one program. If you just really want to go head first into pixel art, I recommend using a sprite. It does cost something, but you are paying an independent developer, and it's always great to support independent developers. If you want to go for the free option, then Krita is your baby. People that contribute to open source software or free donationware are the superheroes of modern modern times. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to see some more pixel art content, check out my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe, and if there are any other free programs out there for pixel art you know of, let me know in the comments. I might check those out in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you pixel pushers next time.